Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the Monsters video. So in today's video, I'm back with our Era Saga. In today's video, I'm going to be getting myself to Spilling Fist. So normally how I do my Era Saga um, episodes or parts is that I basically do or show the full uh, gameplay, right? Like the full thing. Uh, but here is what I'm going to be doing as now on. So since these parts right here, right? I'm talking the medium and hard part. Since they are like repeated, right? The story mode and stuff like that. What I'm going to do is you know to have like i guess the cutscenes i guess you could call them uh so basically i'm not going to be doing a full gameplay doing every single one of the battles and stuff like that i'm just going to be you know uh showing you guys that i win this here it is and then i'm going to you know go ahead and do my spin wheel and you know get all these other resources here i'll show you guys what i mean later on in today's video so i hope you guys are excited for today's video if you are drop a like and also subscribe to the channel with notifications on anyways let's go ahead and get started all right note three let's go and we won it. All right, cool. So let me go on and spend this. Hopefully, we'll get something nice. Something good. I, I want my second one to be really good. Oh, four silver rugs. So you see, there are some gold ones now, too. Um, and I also see a diamond. Note four. Let's go. Here you go. We won this one as well. And let's see what we're going to get here. Give me something nice. <laughs> a diamond relic would be cool. Oh, two gold relics. Five was a cutscene, so we skipped a six. We got ourselves victory. Let's go on and spend this something good some loot gems. oh some gems all right cool <laughs> so this is when you get two gold relic chests on note 7 and also 25 looms this is actually really good this is some nice reward all right that was cool that was pretty fast we won that i just want to have them all right we've got ourselves another spin we got two gold relic chests all right finish note 8 as well and uh, let's go ahead and spin this uh let me tell you this i'm gonna get myself four bronze four silver relic chests watch it's gonna be four silvers uh, i'm gonna let you guys know oh what <laughs> okay two gold relics so i skipped node nine because it was a cutscene but uh no 10 we just finished it and let's see what we're gonna get out of this we get four silver relics all right cool all right we won this one as well let's go ahead and spin this what are we gonna get a diamond relic imagine we get two 10 looms all right cool and there goes the next node. Let's see what we're going to get out of this one. We're going to get 10 looms. All right, I'll take that. I'm going to rank up my spectra. So I skipped the cutscene on node 13, but take a look at this one. 25 looms and 4 gold relic chests. All right, this is no Wagnarok. Took some time, but uh, we finished it. We, we managed to beat it. Um, but yeah, it did take some time because they went ahead and applied many negative status effects on me. So it took some time, but I went ahead and got lucky with my ultimate. Um, but we got ourselves the rewards for note 14. All right, we finished this one as well. The previous note before this was a cutscene, so I went ahead and skipped that one as well. But uh, we're going to get two gold relics out of this one. There goes that. And we haven't gotten a diamond, man. Give me a diamond. Please. <laughs> oh, man. The gold relic chest. Maybe this one will give us a diamond. So let's see. Are we going to get a diamond? <laughs> Uh, no, no diamonds, unfortunately. Just three gems. Alright, node 19 was a skip, but take a look at this one. This one gives you 25 looms and 6 uh, gold relic chests. So I went ahead and beat it, and let's see what we're going to get out of this spin this time. Alright, so we got 2 gold relic chests, and on top of that, 2 gold. We also got 6 more and 25 looms for node 20. I kind of got lucky with this one, but we went ahead and beat it on our first try. And uh, only one of my monsters survived, and that was Nero. And we finished that one as well. Easy peasy. Let's go. All right. So we went ahead and beat that as well. And are we going to get anything nice out of this one? No diamonds. <laughs> Man, my luck sucks. All right. I skipped 23 because there was a cutscene. But let's go on into 24. And just like that, we went ahead and won that one. Let's see what we're going to get out of this pen. I was one off from the diamonds. Dang. All right. I believe this was no 25. But we went ahead and beat it. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was either 24 or 25. But we're about to find out. Okay, so we got three gems. And was that 25? Yeah, that was 25. So 26 has 25 looms and 8 gold relic chests. That's a good... That's a really nice reward. And just like that, we won this one as well. So we got all the juicy rewards. Now we're getting closer to the spelling fist. Which is what we need. Okay, so right about here. This is a cutscene. And so right after, this is when you get to the Spilling Fist and also uh, that other thing. But someone mentioned that, the, yeah, no, Lyria is not carrying any type of relic on him. Someone mentioned that 
you know, check out, the, you know, just George of Larry if he's carrying anything. But no, he is not. And just like this, we went ahead and beat that last one. And we got ourselves victory. So we got ourselves the Spelling Fist. That is what we needed, all right? So we got the Spelling Fist and not just that, but also the player avatar there. And it's an animated um, one as well, which is cool. So I went ahead and equipped it. Take a look at this. We've got ourselves the Spelling Fist. So after damaging with a skill, deals 40,000 points of light damage to the damage enemies and also removes positive status effect. The reason why it's doing 40,000 is because it's at rank 4. So if it was maybe rank 5, it'll do a lot more. Uh, so it really just depends on your monstrous rank. Uh, but I wanted to pair it up with something like this. So this one does not have any mega top monsters but if let's say Bornot decides to you know just use his damage protection skill or something like that oh never mind it's at rank three so yeah here's what we can do we can go ahead and hit them with this aoe and take a look at that this filling fist it went ahead and cleansed that if it was anything else in there it would have went ahead and cleansed that as well so in this case it was just that uh you know uh what is it called what is that thing called let me damage you with this. Uh, but in this case, that was just a uh, damage resection. So I went ahead and cleansed that. But it's really good against Megaton monsters. And not just Megaton, but, you know, um, many other monsters in general. But against Megaton is quite nice. Because monsters that don't have a cleanse skill and that are meant to go in first, this is a really nice um, obscure talent to give. And then here, uh, so I don't have any more uses of Dispelling Fist, so it, it's only two uses, and that's it. So now I can really get rid of that double life or anything like that. Uh, but I'll just go ahead and do this and eliminate Tabora. And hopefully we'll be able to win this, because the other one has Dodge Area, and you have Taunt here. So this will be a problem. Yeah, and my monster's about to die. Okay, yeah, we can just leave. But I just wanted to showcase to you guys what that really does. Now, you can go ahead and, you know, equip that obscure talent on a different monster. Not just, you know, Neurofunk, of course. It could be many other monsters that doesn't have a cleanse skill. So when they take in a first turn, if they don't have any type of cleanse skill, then that could come in handy. You can go ahead and remove, for example, Megaton. You can remove whatever they have, like Pierce, if there's no Megaton protecting it. So it could come in handy. It's a good uh, obscure talent, in my opinion. But anyways, guys, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about this new obscure talent. And let me know if you guys like it or not. Okay. And also, once one last thing. Let me know if you have it, all right? Because I want to know. Um, I do want to share that currently I am doing kind of well uh, in the equipment challenge. Yes, this one, I am participating in it. I started a bit late. Uh, so far, I've spent how much? 600 gems? I don't even know. Uh, but yeah, I've spent quite a lot. And I will be spending a little more. I'm going to see if I could get at least one or two of these updating relic chests. Uh, because I really want to get myself either Ecoliria staff or any of these, honestly. Uh, this would be nice too. The SN. Lymera's Essence, especially this one. This one's really good. So, I'm, I'm a huge fan of these three. This is basically Nebato's armor, but like, a corrupted or obsidian uh, version of Nebato's armor, like the diamond one, you know what I mean? I've already seen it. I've already seen what it does. Uh, but anyways, guys, that's going to be pretty much it for today's video. If you guys did enjoy, if you did, drop a like, subscribe to the channel, with the notifications on, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.